Mitchell was left in disbelief when he received a phone call from Tyena claiming that he was the father of her nine-month-old daughter. You see, when Tyena was pregnant, she told Mitchell that there was no possible way he's the father. Now, Mitchell is hopeful the child is his, but he's also skeptical. Take a look. I need a DNA test done because I am a single mother of a nine-month-old girl. Um, she has a lot of health issues going on right now, and I feel like both parents should be involved in her life, not just one. She's been in and out of the hospital since the day she was born, severe sleep apnea, having trouble sleeping and breathing a lot. Um, I recently found out that my daughter is mid-deaf, which means she can't hear far away, but she can hear close. It's hard sometimes going to sleep at night, not knowing if she's gonna wake up in the morning. Um, it's emotional a lot. It's a, uh, it's like a roller coaster. I just, I just look at her and know that I just, I gotta be there for her. That's something I can't give up. I am hopeful that Mitch will take this test because I want him to be aware, you know, that it's not easy being a single mother and taking care of a sick child like my daughter. When I found out I was pregnant with my daughter, um, it was in June, um, doctors had gave me a, a date, but it wasn't in the range of when me and Mitchell was together. When she got close to having a baby, I ended up testing her. And I was like, hey, is there any chance that this baby could be mine? And she was just like, nah. And I was like, are you sure? I asked her over and over and over. She said no. When I had my daughter, she didn't look nothing like the guy um, it was supposed to be. Um, I ended up getting a DNA test and it wasn't a match. Um, I had told Mitchell and he was excited when I told him that knowledge was his. But then it, it started, you know, the months started going by then I guess he started doubting her. When she told me I might be the dad, I just felt like there's no way. Because in the end, I end up asking you, Am I, is there any possible way that I could be? She said no. When my daughter first came out of surgery back in June, um, she wasn't gonna wake up. They had said um, she had a, a bad reaction to the anesthesia, so she had to be on a breathing tube for two days. And then um, I feel like my word fell apart. And it sucks because I was there by myself once again. It um, it didn't make me mad. It actually made me very angry because I could have lost my child, you know. And being the only parent there, it's not a fun thing, you know, it's not a good thing. My daughter had given me a lot of scares so far. And each scare I had, um, I dealt with by myself. I just want Tiana to know that I am sorry for what I have put her through. If the baby is mine, I am sorry. If I find out today that she is mine, I will step up and be a better man. I just wish Mitchell get his answer, you know, the answer that I guess he wants the outcome. Um, I just want my daughter to, you know, I have a father full time, not part part time, not disappearing. I just want her to fully have her father there. That's really all I ask for. Now, uh, your daughter, she's in and out of the hospital, right? Because of uh, this condition she has with her with yes, her sir. ear. Yes, sir. And um, she has to have another surgery, right? Yes, sir. She goes back in January of 2022. They're taking her tissue from her nose, and before that, they had asked for a, um, a air screening. Um, I found out that she's partial deaf. Well, we hope that that next surgery goes really well for your daughter, and she has a Thank complete you. recovery. Um, so, how hard is it for you to be a single mom? It's hard. It has its days. Um, Any chance that you and Mitchell might get back together? No. no, sir. He's a great father. Um, I see a more co-parent way. Yeah. Um, you could you could be nice co-parents together, but you don't see a, a romantic relationship between the two of you. 
Yeah, um, no romantic way between us, sir. All right, well, let's bring uh, Mitchell in. How you doing, Steve? Okay, so that kind of surprised me. I thought Mitchell was like somewhere else and we we're gonna beam him in. He's right nah. there. You know, I don't put any blame on you. You were told that you weren't the father. You asked, you wanted to be the father, but you were told, hey, you're not the father. So, like, I can understand where you're not there every day because you're under impression it's another man's baby. But when she comes back to you and says that you are the father, how did you feel? I mean, like she said, yes, I was excited. I mean, I was every, I was there every day. And like, it was just like, like she said, when the rumors started coming in, oh man, you need to get this done. You might not be the dad, the baby don't look like you. Yeah. I was just, my mind was just racing here yeah. and there because it was just a well, lot. Well, because there's it. a lot to process there. Do you, yes, want to, do you want to be the father? Yes, sir. You do? And um, obviously, you know, she's got some uh, medical issues and that's going to be tough for a while. But um, yes, sir. hopefully all that goes well. Uh, and I asked Tiana the same thing. Do you ever see yourself wanting to be with Tiana and being the three of you as a family or that's just something that you just never see happening? Well, it's kind of hard because I have other children with uh, other females, so it's like... So it's hard to pick one female. I don't want this one getting jealous of this one. Right. It's hard to just sleep that. with one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> uh, I guess, I guess. I mean, Mitchell, you're, how many children do you have? I got four kids. Yeah. You're 20 years old, Mitchell. Yes, sir. You need to slow down a little bit. I know. Because. <laughs> Maybe it's not fair to the women, but it's probably really not fair to the children because you got, and how many different moms are there? Three. Three. Because, you know, it's going to be hard for you to spend any amount of time in one place, right? Yes. So maybe, maybe four is enough for quite a long while. Yes, yeah. sir. I'm done. I'm, You're done? <laughs> yes, it's over. And how are you going to make sure that happens? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a game plan for that yet, right? Oh, yeah, I do. I really do. Okay, well, I, I certainly hope so. All right, Mitchell, you ready? Yes, sir. Took a DNA test, and the results are, Mitchell, that you are the father of Tiana's nine-month-old daughter. Hey, hey, we don't want baby number five. <laughs> now it's time for me to step up and be a better man. Yeah, and you might want to look into a surgical procedure that starts with me. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, four kids. I mean, do you, what, what do you do, Mitch? Are you working or? Yes, sir. Okay. So, because that's going to be a big strain on your finances, supporting four kids. What, what do you want to what say, Tiana? Do. I'm just, I'm just thankful. Um, I wanted to just say thank you, Steve, for having us on the show. Yes. I just want to say thank you, Mitchell. You're welcome. I really do. You're on welcome. my part, I am sorry for what I put you through. You're good. But I'm just glad we got the results that you know you wanted, and just time to start our journey with our daughter. Yeah. And, and you know what's refreshing about the two of you? At least there's no uh, acrimony. Like, you guys have been very civil. Uh, mm -hmm. Mitchell, once he, you know, knew that maybe he was the father, he has been stepping up to the plate. So uh, it's all good there. I mean, you've been very civil. So we wish you all the luck. Please let us know how your daughter's surgery goes. And uh, we wish you all the best. Take care. All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. I was ready. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.